beautiful people welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey my name is Kashina listen before we even get started if you are not subscribed to the channel please consider doing so I'm sure you will love it here with us turn on your notification bell so you don't miss a beat and you're notified anytime I drop a video okay guys now that we have all of that out of the way hey <laughs> how are you guys doing how have you been it's been so long since we talked and I know I say that a lot. I know I do. I know I take breaks from you guys and it's not intentional. I promise. I am just participating in this thing called life just like you guys are. <laughs> so sometimes that pulls me away from YouTube. But I'm back baby. I am here with you guys today. It has been months since the last time we talked. I think the last time we talked was in fall. <laughs> fall of last year baby today is april 7th and it is early afternoon early to late afternoon how about that and we're about to get a storm i'm looking forward to that storm actually because i'm looking out the window now and it is so windy the trees are swaying and so i think i'm gonna open my back door because i love the sound that the trees make when they are swaying it is so soothing it's like the most soothing swooshing noise <laughs> and i enjoy it it just helps me relax okay so i think i'm gonna do that but i just wanted to come and chat with you guys because i'm just gonna be relaxing for the rest of the afternoon while we have this storm i haven't done much today i worked I went out for lunch with my husband and other than that girl I've been here so I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the afternoon and thought I would come and chat with you guys and see what you've been up to when I say I missed you guys I have missed you guys so I am just happy to be back here chatting with you <sighs> it's been a long while but I'm here baby I am here listen guys oh my gosh you guys know that we moved into our new home last year it's been a year and about four months so i've been having a blast just putting my touch on the house just turning it from a house to a home and it's just been amazing to see all of the changes that i've been making and the decor choices that i've been choosing <laughs> it's been fun it has been so fun and so I have a lot of to-do items on my list. I have some actual DIYs that I want to put effort into because I'm so excited about what the outcome could be. Now, when I tell you I have a lot of items on my list to do overall, it just seems like my list keeps growing. <laughs> I have a ton of things that I want to do to my backyard space oh my gosh so many huge projects in the backyard small projects i have done a few of the small projects welcome to my backyard guys today is wednesday april 5th one of the projects that my husband and i were really excited to get completed over the time that we've been here was our privacy fence man was our privacy lacking when we first moved in we couldn't be happier with our privacy fence we chose a stain color that matched perfectly with the brick on the front of our home so super excited over time, we did purchase some furniture pieces out of necessity so we can enjoy the space. We have lighting throughout the backyard. We have outdoor curtains for the back porch and patio lights that we hadn't put up yet. The cushions for the patio uh, set on the back porch are being cleaned. Outside of that, uh, we are gonna switch out the lighting fixture for a ceiling fan. But all the major projects in this backyard to include major landscaping and revamping are forthcoming and we can't wait to share it with you guys. But the larger projects are still on my list because they're gonna take a lot of work and effort and contractors and so forth. So excited, more to come on that. I won't give it all away right now, <laughs> so more to come. But inside the home, I have a list of things that I want to do. Can you guys believe that I've been here a year and four months and I haven't made any paint color changes? That's huge for me because I am one where I love to paint. <laughs> so we just still have all of the same paint colors that we chose during our new construction. We haven't made any changes to the paint colors at all. But I have ideas, baby. 
So really, I've just really just been uh, decorating, um, getting the furniture pieces that I want, and things like that. But I have a few DIY projects that I want to do that I think will be very fun. I think it will be easy because your girl is crafty, all right? When I tell you that I know my way around some power tools <laughs> and I can be very creative and crafty, it is so true, girl. So I hope to bring you guys along with me when I start doing these things. And yeah, you can see your girl in action and at work. So let me show you a few snippets of some spaces that I want to do. I want to create some accent walls in these spaces, mainly in the entryway and the entryway kind of like hallway, if you will. So take a look. Let's talk about some of the things that I want to do in these spaces. This is my entryway current setup. That welcome sign over there in the corner is not here to live in this space. I used to have it on the front porch, but it is not strong enough to withstand the wind. So it's just there for now. But this wall that you see here is the wall that I want to be the focal point. I want to turn it to an accent wall. I found so much inspiration off Pinterest, but in doing that, I'm also going to change the paint colors in this area as well. And with that, it'll probably prompt me to change the current decorum and the setup and all of that good stuff. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really trying to pin down my top inspiration walls so I can choose from them. Additionally, I do want to add a chandelier in the foyer and possibly in the entryway hallway. I'm just really trying to judge the distance between the two and choose the best chandelier that would add value without looking like too much. It just has to be the perfect fit. All right, guys, so you see what I'm saying? So my walls are just still really plain. The color is just very plain and neutral, which is okay. I love it for the most part, but I want to add a splash of boldness here and there throughout my home. There are so many light fixtures that I want to change. There's even some like uh, faucet and door handle knob changes that I want to make as well. So all of those things are on my list to do. But yeah, I've been kind of researching my options for, sorry guys, I was distracted. Something caught my eye outside the window. But anyway, I just really have been shopping for chandeliers, just really trying to figure out the pieces that I want. There's some different type of ceiling fans that I want as well. And so I'm just having fun shopping for all those kind of things. And so I'm definitely gonna be switching out a lot of my light fixtures and in ceiling fans to places that don't have ceiling fans and so forth and speaking of ceiling fans let's hop to the family room space girl i finally mounted that tv honey but now i still have to hide the cords anyway you see that there that light fixture has to go I want a ceiling fan there, so I'm currently shopping for the right look to add value to this room. So I'm just really excited, guys, so excited. And I'm also gonna change up my pantry. So my pantry right now, is, I mean, it's a pantry and it's serving the purpose, but it has the wire shelves. And I mean, I just haven't done anything to 
better organize the items that I put in my pantry. I haven't added any baskets or anything like that only because I know I want to change it, right? I am not a fan of the wire shelves. I want to take those out and I want to add some wooden shelves. Let's take a look. Welcome to my pantry. So as you can see, the pantry is certainly serving the purpose, but you can also see that I don't have much organization or anything in this pantry making it special, right? It's just serving the purpose. <laughs> So I'm really looking forward to this DIY project. I just really want to optimize the space and I really can't wait to get started. I have so many ideas, guys. You just wait. All right, so you see exactly what I'm saying, right? So my pantry is a, a decent size for a pantry. I'm gonna build some wooden shelves and I also kind of want like some cubbies or cabinets as well for some added storage. As you can see in the pantry where that top shelf is, there's so much space up there between that top shelf and the ceiling that isn't being used. And I'm all about optimizing my space, girl. So another thing that has me so excited right now is that we're in April. <laughs> we are in April. And when I tell you this year has been flying by, that is such an understatement. But the reason why I am not complaining is because next month is my birthday month. So I'm excited. So for those of you who did not know, <laughs> I am a Taurus and I'm just super excited that next month is my birthday month. I usually celebrate the entire month for my birthday. So I am just excited guys. I'm super excited and I'm just blessed. Like, <laughs> mm, I'm just super excited. And can you guys guess how old I'm gonna be? <laughs> Don't even worry about it. I'm just gonna tell you. I'm super blessed to see another year. I turned 41 on my birthday and I'm just so excited. I'm just so excited guys. I don't know how I'm going to celebrate. I don't know what I'm going to be doing, but the countdown is here. <laughs> anyway, guys, I think I'm going to go and do exactly what I told you I was going to do. I'm just going to relax and chill during this storm. I'm actually going to go watch something really good on TV. I don't know what yet. I'm either going to go to Apple TV or Netflix and see what I can find that piques my interest. And yeah, I'm gonna get me some snacks and I'm just gonna chill, guys. 